Good morning, good morning, my beautiful crafters. So Claire here again from Butterfly Creation Arts. So I thought we'll carry on doing a bit of the scrapping. Um, so you'll need obviously your scrap paper and some of this lovely card that I'm not going to be using for anything. Well, I am now, obviously, but I wasn't. It was one of these which I'm just using up to make um, my tags. Um, so doing a bit of collage over them and this is what I'll create. So we'll go from, let me just grab a piece, she says, she says. <laughs> Right, so basically I made these and then they will turn into, so we'll do a bit of stitching, a bit of blanket stitching around the outside. So another one for the lovelies who haven't got a sewing machine. And then to decorate, we turn it into this. So write an area on the back but a lovely idea to put in your journal and as you can see I have been really really busy I've been making loads and loads <laughs> and four so I've just been bulk making so I know whatever design I can decorate for that journal um, I have got the, the, the idea has come from all these lovely ladies um, that I've seen on YouTube. I suspect there's gentlemen on there as well. I haven't found them yet. Um, who do all the card, you know, the paper crafting for junk journals. Um, but it's like, um, shabby dabby do does. She does, Tina, she does a lot of mass making. So, and then I was watching. Um, oh, is it Roxy's Creations? <gasps> That's bad, isn't it? I've been watching loads of her videos, you know, and I've subscribed to all these people, and I can't remember. Um, yeah, so it's, um, you know, she's been doing a lot of the, for the slow stitch and she made a load of um, collage tags and I thought, that's a brilliant idea. So um, I thought, right, let's get going. And I know loads of them. Um, I watch Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah, Tracy Fox, um, Artie May, Gail never pronounce your surname i'm really sorry um and then obviously obviously roxy's creations and then her sister sarah is it sarah sarah that i've watched so i do watch these late at night and um so and then by then my brain's frazzled because i've been mm -hmm. inspired by so many and go oh i need to make some of this stuff right so let's get going I did do another video out in um, my shack, but I was completely out of it, like ha hiding half of it behind the camera. So I thought I'd come in the kitchen as well because we've got rubbish day today. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some paper, cover these over like so. And then while it's this drying, we'll go on to the next step with the ones that I've already made. Let me get my scissors just to trim that bit off. So, how are you all doing? Are you having a fantastic day? Busy crafting? What are you making? Anything exciting that you want to share? It'd be really nice if we could share. Let me know what you're doing. Um, where did I put my paper? Oh, right beside me. Right beside me. So I just got my gardening book. See, I keep all these images for my um, journals. 
but I know the papers haven't got no naughty words on. <laughs> I got a really nice old book and I took out one page from it one day and it was like shooting and killing on there on a ship and everything. I was like, no, can't use that. So all I'm doing is trimming. I know there's going to be some people out there having heart attacks. I'm cutting up a book. But these are from charity shops. They were damaged anyway. You know, the ones that they would have sent off to the paper recycling. So I um, I done the rescue. I'll try and add as much paper as I can. So, it's... right, I'll go for another bit there. Or should we have that there? If I put that that way. Yeah, I've seen the guys. They're using those real nice tear rulers. <gasps> I want one. So I think that's my next mission for payday and then one of those actual um filming arms um i know tina from shabby dabby doodah she's actually got the link down in her on one of her videos and i i've been looking for one of them so i'm actually going to order that as well treat myself So, just using a bit of um, print stick. Just make sure you get everywhere and you um, get all the air bubbles out. Just remember, we are actually going to be hand stitching around the edge. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, I do apologise. Oh, I have got more podge. It actually came the other day, I was so excited. And I don't want to use it now. <laughs> I should do, I should do really. Don't worry about these little gaps. You soon fill them up with your bits. I mean, people are going to think, oh, God, it's different layer, multi layers and different thickness. Um, it doesn't really matter because if you're hand stitching, your sewing machine's not got to go around there. And I do like the blanket stitch. Right, so I've got me um, crafting tablecloth on. My husband would have a heart attack if he thought I was um, doing it straight on top of the table. So yesterday afternoon, went down the field. Was there busy? Helping dig out the strawberry plants ready to be bedded in the new zone in our um, market garden area. And uh, we're going to have one part of the paddock. Where's my scrappy things in the shed? Isn't it? Um, one part of the paddock is actually going to be. Um, Full of strawberries. Let's see, is there bubbles there? But I'm not going to get them up now, am I? Oh, yes, I am. So it just shows where I missed. Just go in. Yeah, so yes, so we were there. And um, my sister in law's daughter was there. <laughs> With her little girl, Rosie. Oh, 
She's so lush. She's, she's one and a half, two. She's, got, she's coming up to, I think. And oh, she's absolutely hilarious. And so we were digging up the strawberries and like hunting for worms as well for the chickens. And uh, so she had the little bucket. I was doing the deadheading of the strawberry plants and putting them in our sledge. <laughs> yeah, because it's the, where the market gardens can be is on a hill, so the sledge is a lot easier to pull it up. Um, yeah, so she's holding the bucket. Now, this little girl has no fear. No fear whatsoever. She is lush. And um, so she's there. Having the, the worms pass to her. <laughs> she, she stretches one out and she puts it out to her nose and steps it. <laughs> I don't know where she got that from. Oh, she had me in stitches. She's such a character. And, um, yeah, and then she took her little bucket and go and fed them to the chickens. She's got some um, older chicks there with their um, mother, well, the brooder, who took over the job. Um, so, yeah, she's done that. She was, like, so happy that she was there uh, giving them their treats. And then um, we took her out. We got um, Bunny, the old horse. She was um, only a little horse. I mean, she's, like... No, um, not that much bigger than Shetland Pony. Um, got her bridled up and everything, and um, so we're going up. We're going up the lane, and she's on, sat on there having a ride. And uh, on the way back, she saw the puddles. So she wanted to get down. She wanted to go in the puddles. So we're all there in our willies and um, she got down and I went, come on then. And I started splashing around in this puddle. She's laughing her head off. And uh, then um, she's going, Claire, Claire, Claire. Basically, she wanted to go in front of me. So as she's going past me, she is splashing me <laughs> and laughing. Such a cutie. She's got such beautiful piercing blue eyes and ringlets. Little ringlets. She's scrummy. She'll put a smile on anybody's bad day. Yeah, bless her cottons. Right, I've got a little tiny bit there. And I know she says, I oh, had a bit, oh, we'll use that, shall we? Use a bit of that on there. So yeah, lovely day. And then I had to go and pick up some rose plants so we can dry when they they're ready. We can dry the petals for potpourri or wedding confetti. I missed a bit. Making sure I'm still in frame. Um, it's better. And then I've got to go to the shops after this, and I've got to go and pick up the onion bulbs, different types of onions, so we can get them all planted in this afternoon. All the potatoes are getting planted in this afternoon. I made, oh, I made me marmalade. I cannot believe. Oh, I thought there was a cat in my garden. I cannot believe how much sugar goes into marmalade. First time I've ever made it. I've made jams. I've made um, 
onion chutneys but yeah lemon curd I've made right so there we go there's our basis what I'm gonna do is get my ruler yeah so we're going down there today to do all that get them all planted in um, open up my caravan again get that all aired for me to go in there take all the door and doors off and bring them on and paint them I'll be doing Annie Sloan paint in there I'm um what sort of I gonna do I'll make some new curtains because they just got temporary ones up because the ones that came with it were like falling apart so yeah we picked up an old second hand caravan um so yeah we're gonna I've got some really, really nice fabric that I brought off a lady before I moved up here. And I'm hoping there's enough for three windows. I'm hoping. And maybe do blinds instead, you know, blinds that you, um, what's the word? <laughs> blinds you pull up. <laughs> I'll get there in the end <laughs> um yeah so i'm hoping there's enough if not i'm gonna have to invest in some money and um buy some fabric aren't i but i don't want nothing too heavy in there because obviously in the winter time i need to air it you know i don't want no nothing no fabrics catching moisture but actually being really lucky because I got those um dehumidifier um things you can buy with the beads in so they're planted around um so I've got some of them in there And obviously we go down there and air it and everything, anything fabric wise like the cushion, we stack up in the centre so the air can circulate around in there. Right, so I've done with that one. Gas in the way, oh my gas in the way, not concentrating. Yeah, so this summer, but this spring, we're gonna go with spring. Um going to be <clears throat> doing the interior up because like I said second hand, old second hand one cost me he wanted 500 for it but we had to get new tyres um, to obviously to make it road legal so uh, we weren't sure if the electrics were going to work um, because they had nothing there to hook it up with to show us so I um I got him down to 350 pound bargain I, the interior is solid it's absolutely solid I mean, obviously my husband gave me the rule book on buying a caravan <laughs> you know you got to look for this you got to look for this pull the seats up and everything i done the whole lot. So, yeah. Um, I, my brother-in-law, he picked it up for us. Because, obviously, he is, had the... We, our, our old car didn't have the hookup for it. So, he picked it up for us. And um, it was absolutely hilarious. Because, obviously, this was in the second lockdown. So, obviously... It, you're not allowed to really travel and for unnecessary reasons but it's because it was going on to a land where we're working it and we're looking after animals and everything this class is working um so and it's a shelter for us on the rainy days because obviously the barn is for the animals 
so yeah absolutely hilarious we're driving down and it was like 20 miles we had to get no less than that i'd say it was um 20 minute drive 23 minute drive to the field and um we're out on the main road my brother-in-law's in front of us driving it down and we drive past two police cars and I looked at um, Phil's going, oh, I hope they don't stop us. I hope they don't stop us. And I went, babes, they'll look at the one side of the caravan, which hasn't been cleaned. See, it's all green and everything. I think, well, they're not holiday makers. <laughs> What's the point of stopping them? They're obviously going to a work site. <laughs> I went, stop your fretting, stop your fretting. So yeah, I was like, oh, right, what am I going to do? Should we have that bit there? Yeah. So, <laughs> like, it looks like a rice snake on the outside. And it isn't certainly travellers. Because <laughs> they keep their caravans are pristine. So yeah. Says Collins, worry about nothing. Right, I don't know why I'm putting the print stick away. Right, so now let's just get some fussy cutting, uh, ripping done. Fussy cutting. My fussy cutting is abominable. Is that a word? Oh, I don't know. I'm having a blip moment. Yeah, so, um, let me place that and then I can see where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, but it's, oh, it's, it's a lovely caravan because they've already got one down there, which is their summer caravan. It's only a little two birth thing and it's the same. Ours is four birth. Um, theirs came. They paid £70 pound for theirs and it basically came with nothing on the inside um oh wait well, on by the painted kitchen so they've done all the interior out and um so it's like the summer caravan so we got one so that like our family because we've only got a two bedroom house so when our family wants to come down or our friends they can stay in the field and do a bit of off-gridding, as you do. Got electricity, well, we've got power electricity, solar power electricity to it. And uh, we go and collect your water from a tap. So, yeah, it's nice. Getting back to nature. I was lucky enough, a lot of my family like that. We're right proper country bumpkins. obviously you don't want to overdo it because it will be going as just the background piece Get a little bit of this yeah so it'll be going as you go back what's that tearing Claire shock for that right okay a little bit here, cover that gap up. A little bit there. Oh, we'll have that bit there. Actually, have another bit. A little bit there. Sorry, because I'm trying to 
visualize my um, pocket um, tags. Just go there. Don't match. Right, let's get glue in, eh? Yeah, so I'm really excited in getting that done. I mean, thankfully, all our house is now decorated. My friends have been looking out to me. In the time that you've had, like one of my friends, her husband's been redoing her kitchen, um, new worktops, and redoing the cupboards. Um, and in that time, I've decorated a whole house. <laughs> so I've done kitchen, sitting room, hallway and landing, downstairs loo, bedroom, bedroom, toilet, a bathroom. So I've done seven rooms to his one kitchen. <laughs> and she's going, I can't believe how bad you worked. And I went, yeah, but for the state of the house, no matter how much you cleaned it, it didn't feel like our home and lucky enough i'd been buying my wallpaper bit by bit before the move and um like my paint and that so it's like we were ready so it's not like i had to go out and buy it all in bulk because when i had spare pennies you know i've done that We've saved up for our carpet for the stairs. So when they all open back up, that's the first thing we'll do is go and get our carpet measured up. Because I was going to do what I'd done in the previous house and have wallpaper on the facings of the stairs and then um, paint the stairs and have carpet pieces going up through on the actual treads but I said these stairs are so noisy creak it for a seven year old house definitely creaked more than my old house which was built in 19 when was it built they were built either just before the war second world war or before in the midst of the war um, for you know emergency housing because I know when we look on Google you go like images before 1940 they wasn't there it was just fields and we were told that they were actually built for the war Because they were great, uh, pretty classes that were they're called prefab houses. So, I like great big slabs of concrete. Oh, you couldn't put a picture up in the, you know, you couldn't put a nail up in. I'm stain my nails. You couldn't put, um, a, put, you know, a picture nail in the wall. You had to get these little tacks, little white tacks with little pins in, which would only affix to the plaster. Because <laughs> anything else, well, try and put a nail in there, it'd actually bend the nail. Try and drill a hole in there, you'd only get so far, which is the plaster, which is about that thick. Yeah. In my previous house to that, I lived in another one there, which was a prefab. And bless the lady, um, my next door neighbour, I, all I could hear was her laughing in her kitchen. Because I was like trying to, I got a great big massive oil painting that I brought back from Germany. And um, she was there, on there trying to drill a secure um, holder for it, because it's a huge painting. And I'm going, blaming walls, you put a bomb in there and it wouldn't do nothing to these walls. It'd only blow the roof off. And all I could hear is her laughing next door. <laughs> right, I'm just going to press your pause a minute so I can wipe my table up.
back again right so that's that all cleaned up so all i've done then let that dry divide it up into the sizes of tags i can get if i cut that in half one two three four um of this size um for the bigger ones i went one two three i've got three out of there all right so i'm just going to let that dry because it's no good doing it whilst it's wet and then like blue peter this is what i made earlier <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> right, so the, all I done was snip the corners. And then I've done a bit of um, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo with my brush. It's gone all the way around the edges and around the back. So you can use that as still your writing. If it's really patterned paper that you're not going to use in your journal, you can always put um, some writing paper on the back. Obviously, let it dry. And then what we're going to do is we'll do the next step. So I'm just going to get a smaller one. Like so. And I've got some... Oh, oh, she's wrapping it around her finger. Got some of this. My silk. You can use anything. Um, you could actually, if you made the holes a little bit bigger, you could actually use um, some lace. You know, the um, or muslin, whatever. Have a go. It's either, it's one bit a scrap collage card so use that as your guinea pig on anything you've got anything that's thin or even a little bit thicker than this in wool uh, or yarn um, cotton thick cotton um, you can get some real nice bamboo cotton that's lovely um, anything just have a go it's that, that it's your choice um, whatever you fancy not all of us do the same it's like with the collaging I know there's loads and loads of videos out there of everybody doing um, collaging with scrap paper but as you see if you watch every video we're all different we do it different ways um, so yeah and it's the same with this like if you've got a sewing machine go around with it with the sewing machine do some fancy if you've got one of those like the patchwork ones which does all the different design um needling do that um or if you haven't do that but what i'm gonna do is she's put it away somewhere here you go corey oh yum yum um where's i put it had it here a minute ago. It's right there. Oh, it's probably on the floor. That's why it's probably under my chair. Right, so I'm going to sit down for this bit. Right, so what you want to do next, remember this is a sharp object. Please do not hurt yourself and do not um, come to me if you cut yourself. <laughs> you have been warned. So all I do is I do hole punches all the way around so I'm just gonna go in there wide enough for the needle to go in and base just rough distance you can use a ruler if you want to measure up going all the way around but normally if you do it by eye you can nearly get it spot on I'm just going to go all the way around. Oh, so that one went a bit wonky. I'm going to go there. So it's once you've got your collage bit done, this is actually quite a fast process. But 
if you like some of the lovely ladies, they do scrapbook collage books. So they can just get in that, you know, an old book, um, like a colouring book, and then they do, they put all their scrap, glue all their scrap papers down in there, and then tear them out when they need them. So you could actually do that, which I am going to start doing. And then I've got a bulk of them. Um, and then it's just a case of pulling one of the pages out, cutting up, and then doing your circles around. So I don't know if that's going to be long enough. I don't think it is. You want a quite a long piece, so you know you're not going to get stuck halfway. Yes, Corey Ipkus. with the cream I think I've got a little bit of that left he's it's all right he's talking to the babies the chicks where well, they're not so little now ignore this please do not be offended by my mess <laughs> It's my mess. <laughs> That's right, Corey, isn't it? Just go there, cut that off. Here's my needle. See, I had it all prepared. I've wiped up. So I have my needle right here. Where's that gone for a walk? And I don't really fancy going outside and putting you guys on pause again. Oh, give me strength. Where did I put that then? Right, I'm going to have to put you on pause just so I can find it. It's all right, it's this table's got so many lines on it, I did have it still in there. I'm just hoping I haven't wiped the table down and thrown it. <laughs> right, let me just put you on pause. Sorry about this. Back again. Oh, yes, I had to go, oh, I don't know what I've done with that. I might have scooped it up with the paper. It's gone in the bin. Right. I'm hoping this eye's big enough. Let it go in. Yes. Right. Okay. There's a knot there already. I should go through. Right. I'm just going to do this. So I've got my thread there. Yeah. I'm just going to wrap around twice. And slide it on. She says, round two, I don't feel like this day is going to go even worse, one, two, three, we'll go that way, All right, just keep hold of it Claire, keep hold of it, she says, keep hold, bring it too tight now haven't I, no I haven't, keep going, Said, thank you. There's that little tiny knot in there, so I just created a knot. Okay, so just need to make sure that you can see. I might have to zoom in a little bit for this. There we go. So all I do is I just go in top hole, up through there. If you do the blanket stitch, you don't want to know, just ignore this part. Right, so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in through. No, I'm not. Ignore this. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that there. And then I'm going to go through the front. So you're actually going through the loop. And that will create your first one. All right, hold it there. 
through the front hole. So you don't, oh, we haven't got to keep going backwards and forwards. And like so. Pull a little bit tight. Not too tight because you want the blanket stitch to stay up on the top of the paper. Just like that, hold that back bit there. And there. Okay. Another way to do it, so you could keep it that way and not hold on to it there. Just go through and before you come to the end, you've got your loop like this. Just come back up through. That, see, great that. Do it again, go through before you pull right through. You've got your loop and just come up through now. And if you forget um, to stop <laughs> like I did, you can loosen it and then put your needle through. I think it just makes that extra, you know, that little bit extra detail of handmade. Um, that's what I like about the stitching. The stitching brings out things so much more differently. And the thing is, is you don't even actually have to, if you'd like that um, minimalist look in your um, journals, so that one's just going to go behind, sit behind there, all right? Or you could have it in the front, like so. It's completely up to you. Um, yeah, so if you've got, you prefer the minimalist, um, you can do this. You can do, you know, your collage and using the basic just lines going through it with that, um, little bit of detail um, it hasn't got to be flowers it could be architecture anything you fancy and then just do a natural basic stitch around the edge um, either with a sewing machine or with doing it like this way and it just gives it that um, extra detail so you haven't got to do a cluster on there or decorate it with flowers you can uh, I mean if you don't I mean you've got some people who do like doing um, the gothic ones and Halloween ones um, you could do different layering with your collage for your um, gothic ones and then using a real deep dark colour to go around the edge that would actually be quite nice it would be actually nice to do like medieval ones as well because I've um, I actually did on burlap um, I know it is Hessian um, for um, a wedding they were having a medieval wedding they do a lot of the 
I'm dressing up in medieval clothes and do the sword fight and everything it was a wedding so I looked up because it was my sister's wedding business and um, I said why not um, use some hessian and do a bit of tapestry on there um, so she goes all right then that's what you can do <laughs> I wasn't offering <laughs> But I did, and I just uh, googled images um, of, you know, medieval quotes, you know, um, love, you know, wedding quotes and um, pictures. Um, so what I done is then I drew like the flowers on there. I've got the sort of the images and the, you know, the lettering and the quotes and then I drew it all on the um, burlap and then actually done just simple with silk um, so it all on there and um, then like you know I think it's four three or four for um and oh they absolutely loved them where they actually hung them up in their own house and I was like so chuffed with myself not like I need a big head so I'm just going to go in there one last time and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that over Corey please like so and then I should have left that a bit longer she says now in hindsight she says now in hindsight <laughs> and then just tie off yeah so i'm actually thinking Corey Ipkus, i'm actually thinking of um no claire do it right I'm actually thinking of <laughs> once she's fathomed this out. Uh, I should have left that a little bit longer, so I can try off. Um, is doing a medieval um, journal with a Hessian cover with all the and doing a design and actually stitching it on there. So there we go. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to punch a hole in the top. Like so. And then because we've got the greens, I'm going to, these are, uh, we are memory keepers. Because I was going to use the wide ones and then I thought no, because it's actually going to cover, um, the stitching I need to put them in properly oh, she says so I'm just gonna go in like that like that and then get a bit of oh, oh I found it I found your end and a bit of um, this put it on through sorry if I went out of focus that out of shot then now see how much difference that makes just adding that little bit extra touch it might not be to everybody's taste that's fine. We all do our journals in different ways. Um, and it's like I said, we all um, do our, we might all do collaging, but they all come out differently because we all have different ways and styles. And that's the nice thing about all the videos. I mean, I watch a lot of them um, and everybody, 
um, uh, it's like the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I mean, the amount of people that have done the envelopes um, with scrap paper, but they've all come out differently and they're all beautiful. So that's what I mean. Is um, we have there's many artists out there who put paint to canvas, but it doesn't mean they will paint in the same way. So I hope you enjoy. Um, have a go. Add that extra little bit of touch to your journal um, or a journal that you're selling or making for somebody. These little touches, especially if you're making it for somebody in your family as a gift or a friend, these little pieces just show how much work you've put into making such a beautiful piece for them to treasure for the rest of their days. Right, so have a lovely day. And I will speak to you soon because I'm sure I'm going to make another video. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.